Hey guys, welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be looking at Botanic 6.7 which is a new version of Botanic. Uh, if you don't know what Botanic is, it's one of the largest nature tree asset library uh, for Blender on the market and uh, it, uh, they've just updated it to version 6.7 and I think they're focusing mostly on animation in this update and they have reworked their animation system and just looks way much better than before. Just look at this uh, animation of a palm tree swaying uh, the, the wind animation is so detailed. It's not like uh, most add-ons where they're just animating the, the rotation of the pivot point. They're actually animating the, the actual mesh itself. This looks super realistic. Uh, all links are going to be in the description, but uh, today I wanted to do a full review of the add-on, maybe make a scene out of this. So let me go on and open up Blender and uh, create a scene using Botanic just to, just to show off how you can use it and uh, maybe a simple tutorial uh, for it. Okay, so the installation process is obviously very simple you just go to edit preferences after downloading the add-on just go to install and find the location of the zip file hit install and the add-on should be installed and uh, you should be able to search for botanic uh, it will be available in the list there and activate it in the side panel if you hit end it should be under polygonic i will see the botanic full version i have a full version but uh, there are few uh, there are three i think uh main version there is also a free one where it comes with i think four percent of the entire library it is a big library so four percent of it is also uh, quite big so you get a lot of assets in that let me just scroll up here just to see all right yeah so you can see that uh, the free one comes with 43 percent of the assets and uh, they also have a scatter feature uh, that you get for free they have a, a light version and a full version I'm, I'm using the entire version the full version because yeah i mean this is quite amazing also let's set up a new scene here create something uh, so that we can examine how this actually works so i'm going to create go to my quick functions add-on and uh, set up uh, my environment uh, let me switch to cycles here i uh, make sure i'm using the gpu i'm going to set up um go to the world settings here okay set up an a plane and then a sky uh, let me select the sky just reduce the energy and uh, just to set up the scene yeah something like that okay so botanic as i said is under polygonic and uh, we can start bringing in some stuff and make a scene so i'm going to start with a, a simple tree uh, for our scene let me start with a tree like this has some interesting shapes let me scale it up a bit yeah just look at how detailed uh, these trees are and one feature that i, I like a lot about this is that if you select any object or any tree you can you can hit the randomized variant and uh, you should get some randomization you can get a different variant of the tree uh, like that which is i think amazing I'm looking for something that i could work with here yeah that's this looks good ah you can see you can you can adjust the brightness of the tree make it darker if you want make it brighter like that i can even randomize the hue just adjust what you want and uh, okay that's a bit too much i don't want it to be too random i still want it to be green maybe yeah something like that you also have the add animation option but this works on uh, editable trees so you can make this editable by just clicking the convert to editable and then now we can add the animation add animation and uh, let's see best fit now let's first go out and you can see we have the animation can increase the strength set set yeah so this could be like a, a storm you see the the animation looks really really good uh super realistic i can also bake the animation into alembic so that uh, the scene is much faster your viewport is much faster there are a lot of settings you can adjust for the animation here and uh, yeah, but uh, I want to create a scene out of this. Uh, so let's pick, let's go back here. I'm going to remove this uh, so that I, I start from scratch. Uh, let me start with a simple tree here. Uh, let me use uh, this uh, this tree here. Yeah, maybe make it a bit brighter. Keep it simple like that. Let's add some grass. Uh, so to instance the grass, I'm going to add a plane uh, like this. Uh, this is where my grass is going to be. And uh, you can subdivide it a few times and uh, maybe add a displacement texture so that our ground is a bit displaced. Uh, to make an interesting ground, I'm going to just add a clouds texture onto this. Maybe scale it up a bit. Just bring uh, the strength a bit down. Add a sub subdivision surface on top of it. I don't want it to be displaced at the boundaries of the mesh. So let me just come in here really quickly and just uh, create a vertex group and just assign it to the displacement 
now we can just invert this so that I, I don't get any displacement at the boundaries and uh, yeah that will be useful a bit later yeah so this is what we have and uh, I'm going to come to this and with the plane selected uh, to make it as the target I wanted to have uh, the grass objects to have some grass on it so I'm just going to hit the plus here and you can see they have a ton of new assets available in the library so I'm just going to select this let me first turn off these overlays and you can see we have something like a, a flower garden here turn these collapse these adjustments I come to this uh, let's reduce you can see some of the settings we have the emission and number I can reduce how much of these I have let me 100 now uh, I don't want too many and let's come to this uh, I want to just scale this grass up a bit let me look up uh, the great thing about this is that uh, they have this layer based system uh, where I can just click and add another layer of grass uh, this time let me see let me try adding you still have more content down so don't forget that uh, these are flowers I want grass so a ton of new assets uh, simple grass here uh, maybe something like this add that in you can see I can disable of the different layers in the preview here so that I can know what exactly I'm working on nice so I, I think let's create a scene out of this and see how we can do uh, I'm just going to go to my asset library and search for a cabin uh, this is a cabin you might be familiar with I did I made it a few tutorials back so let me bring that in so that uh, we can actually turn this into a nice looking scene uh, let me just have the tree maybe there are a lot of new features like I said in the botanic asset in the botanic library and let's take advantage of them I like these flowers so let's add another layer of them this is too much I can come in here and just reduce the number let's try 500 I have a car in my library I think I got it from sketchfab so let's add let's make this into an, ex, an amazing scene so just have this van here maybe it's parked around there and I also have this other car we can also do something like uh, let me turn on random colors here we can you can also add a plane uh, I like this technique a lot because uh, I want to how to cover this uh, this uh, car in in vegetation so I'm just going to add a plane give it a shrink wrap and uh, select the car as the projection object and uh, let's add some grass I want something simple maybe this here uh, let's look at this now I can see how it looks I'm just going to come in here and uh, make sure that uh, I don't show the instance so I'm just going to turn that off uh, so that we just see how uh, the vegetation uh, might increase the density on this yeah I like this other tree we had before so let me add that in I think I'm liking how that is looking uh, I'm also going to grab this here this grass just snap it to Okay, and I need to duplicate it snap it to the roof like that okay uh, there is also IV generators in here so you can come in here and start drawing and you can just you, you draw and then hit convert to mesh you can basically create uh, your own IV and uh, if you don't want to just draw them you also you can also use uh, they have these IVs I, I, I really like this one that hangs a bit uh, so I'm just going to grab that and yeah I think adding that there and yeah, look at that now uh, they also have a bunch of rocks if you want that as well yeah like I said this is one of the largest vegetation library it's even hard to show to showcase everything they have and yeah, they even give you these garden I don't know how they call them sheds I don't know I'm just going to use it to cover the car like that so if you want to get a botanic links are in the description and uh, right now they, they have a 33% discount if you get it right now thank you for watching I'll see you in the next uh, video